Hi, this is Sally from Lightspeed and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a sequence. This feature will allow you to combine several existing items to compose a whole menu. To create a sequence you will first need to click on Configuration in the main menu and then on the button Create Item Sequence. At this stage the information to fill in is mostly the same as when creating an item. In the first frame, you will need to complete the sequence details. The sequence name, as shown on receipt, is to define a name for your menu, which will be the name that will get printed on the client receipt. Then, you have to enter the price you would like to give to that menu. The cost price is an optional information, so it is not mandatory to fill in this field, but it enables the system to calculate the margin you made on the sale of your product. Without this information, you will not have the margins in your product report. The accounting group lets you define certain parameters such as the tax rate or the choice of the printer on which you want the production orders to be printed. It is mandatory to configure the accounting group on each item or sequence you will create. In the business reporting, products are usually organized by accounting group. The statistic categories are also optional as the cost price, but they can be used to create an additional filter for the items or sequences categorization in the report. If you define a statistic group on your sequence, you will be able to see it classified by accounting groups, but also by statistical groups in some of your reports. The second frame is used to enter the information of the button. The sequence name as shown on button is an optional field. If this field remains empty, the system will take the name of the sequence that was entered at the top of the page as the button name. In some cases, if your sequence name on the ticket is long, it is possible to have a shorter name, which will make the tilde easier to read. You can also select a color for the button of your sequence. To add your sequence to the menu, choose the default menu if the name has not been changed. Then select the main screen under which you would like to add your button. If you do not select the main screen, your sequence will still be created, but it will not be visible on your till and will appear as disconnected in your item list. Once everything is filled in, you can then click on Save. In the bottom frame named items that are part of this sequence, you can then click on the button create a new item group in order to create the different groups of items you would like to have in this sequence. On this page, you will have to fill in the name of the group, the forced price if you need to force the items that will be added to the group so that they don't add any cost to the price of the whole sequence. You can also choose the selection policy. So you can choose to select zero or one item, to select exactly one item, or to select zero or more items in the group. You can also select in which course you would like to insert your different groups. In the case of a menu creation, you can put the starters in first course, the mains in second course, and the desserts in third course. Then click on Save. Once you are inside the group, you need to click on Edit the item list. Search the different items and add them to the group. And then click on Save. The items you want to add to your groups must have been created beforehand. Then you can go back on the sequence to create a new item group. On this page, you will have to fill in again the name of the group, the force price, uh, select the selection policy, select the course in which you would like to insert uh, that uh, group, and then click on save.
Again, once inside the group, you need to click on edit the item list, search the different items and add them to the group and click on save. Then you can go back on the sequence again to see your whole menu. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out the Health Center for more information.